yell at me. Now, who would like to help in the magic show today? Good, 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 good. A few things about helping. First of all, take your hands, place them in your laps. Sit up nice, straight and tall. Put a big smile on your face. Come on, bigger, 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 bigger. And no talking. If you can do these things, you might get to help in the show today. Now, turn to the person on your right and say, I'm going to be in a magic show. I'm going to be in a magic show. Now, turn to the person on your left and say, dude, no talking. Dude, no talking. Give yourself a big hand. Yes. Now, today, guys, we're going to be doing some great magic tricks like this one. Do you see the knot that I have tied in the middle of the row? Now, it's about the middle row. Now, I could take that knot and I could slide that knot right down here. Or, I could also take that knot and I could slide it all the way down here. But if I snap my fingers, you'll see that knot turns red like that. Yeah. Now, some people think it's a fake knot, like a trick knot, because it can slide from one side of the row to the other side of the row. But you'll see that when I untie that knot, that that knot is actually part of the rope. Yeah. Now, I have a little something I like to do during my show. When I'm done with the trick, I'll say, and that's the end of that trick. And everybody will go, aww. But then I'll say, but wait, I have another one. And everybody will say, so that's the end of that trick. Aww. But wait, I have another one. Yay! Now before we get going, raise your hands if you know a magic word. A magic word? What's one? What is a magic word? You freak? Silly is a magic word? That's maybe one. What's another one? Let's see. What's a magic word? Have a banana? Abracadabra, yeah. In fact, abracadabra is my favorite magic word. We'll use it throughout the rest of the show to make everything happen. Now, for this trick, I am going to need to help with someone from the audience, someone who would like to come on up here. Would you like to come up and help? Big round of applause, yes. Excellent. Wonderful, come on up here. Another round of applause, yes. Stand right over here. Excellent, what is your name? Larissa, I heard that earlier, actually, Larissa. And Larissa, what grade are you in? Fourth grade, fantastic. Larissa, you're gonna help me with a great trick today. Inside this bag, I have three different items. I'm gonna pull each item up one at a time, wave them at the audience, and when I do, I want everybody to go, ooh. And then Larissa, you're gonna hold them up high in one hand where everyone can see them. So the first thing I have in here, Larissa, is I have a red handkerchief, ooh. There you go. The next thing I have in here is I have a second red handkerchief. Ooh. All right, Larissa, hold that up. Then the last thing I have in here is I have a black handkerchief. Ooh. Now, Larissa, you hold those up high. Then you guys know what to keep in the rest of the bag? I keep nothing. See, there's nothing else in the bag. Now, here's what I'm going to do. First, I'm going to take one of the red handkerchiefs. I'm going to place it back in the bag. So I'm going to grab a red handkerchief. Hey, wait a minute, what color is that? Black. Black, all right, hold on to that. What color do I need? Red. Yeah, that's right, so I'm gonna take a red one, I'm gonna, hey. Hey, that's not funny. All right, hold on to that. What color do I need? Red. Yeah, all right, so I'm gonna grab that red handkerchief. Ooh. I'm gonna take that red handkerchief. What? That's not funny. All right, so I'm gonna take a red handkerchief. Ooh, I'm gonna take that place, that right side of the bag. No, that's not funny. All right, so I'm gonna take a red handkerchief. Ooh, I'm gonna take that red handkerchief, I'm gonna place it inside the bag, just like this. Then I'm gonna take the second red handkerchief. Ah, all right, what color do I need? So I'm gonna take the second red handkerchief. Ooh. I'm going to take that handkerchief, place it down inside the bag, just like that. Then I'm going to simply roll the bag up. I want you to hold on to the bag. Now I'm going to take the black handkerchief. Ooh. I'm going to take the black handkerchief, place it inside the pan, put a lid over the top so you can't see it. Now just to review, where did I place the black handkerchief? In the pan, that's right. Where did I put the two red handkerchiefs? In the bag. And what were the magic words? Here's what's going to happen. On the count of three, we're all going to say the magic 
wears an abracadabra, the black handkerchief that's in the pan is going to jump out of the pan. Fly three circles through the air into the bag you're holding on to, and then tie itself between the two red handkerchiefs. Wouldn't that be awesome? Yeah. Now you have to watch because it happens this fast. Okay, ready? On the count of three, we're going to say the magic words. One, two, three. Did you see that? Three circles through the air into the bag you're holding on to, tied itself between the two red handkerchiefs. Now we're going to do the most difficult part of all. We're going to make it jump out of the bag, back into the pan again. Here goes. One, two, three. Now it's back in the pan. Yeah. You guys don't look very impressed here. <laughs> Should we do it again? All right, all right. Where's the black handkerchief? it's in here. Is that the problem? Yeah. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. I'll take a look. They don't believe us. We're like Siegfried and Roy. We're doing amazing things up here. I'll take a look. Yeah, it's definitely in there. Okay? Are yeah. oh, you guys want to see? Yeah. Alright, everybody take a look. Take a look. There we go. Take it out of the back. Yeah. Alright, here's what we're going to do. I want you to pinch that corner and hold that corner right there. You'll see there's the red one. And now, Tied between the middle is the black handkerchief. Look at that. Yay. Look at that. And the bag is completely empty. Big round of applause. Yeah. What's that? The pan? Did someone say the pan? Oh no, the pan is empty. See, it's real light. Nothing's in there. You guys want to see the pan? All right. Stand right here, right here next to the table. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to lift off the lid. They think we're using two black handkerchiefs. I want you to look down there. Tell them that the black handkerchief is gone. And then it's gone. Yeah, yeah. All right, have a seat back down there. Big round of applause. Everybody say hello. Everybody say good night, Walter. We're going to place Walter back inside of his cage and give yourself another round of applause. Yeah. Excellent job. And that's the end of that trip. But wait, I have another one. Now, for this next trip, for this next trip, I will need the help of someone from the audience. Someone from the audience. Oh. But wait, 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 wait. I'm going to need someone who can pass the test to get into magic school. Would you guys like to take the test to get into magic school? Yeah. Like all continuous education, there is an exam to get into magic school. Do you guys sure you want to try this? Yeah. All right, all right. So first of all, everybody loosen up your hands. Teachers, you can try this too. You never know when you're looking for a second career. All right, so here's what I want everybody to do. Hold up your hands, fingers wide apart. Everybody go like this. Oh, perfect. Everybody has what it takes to get into magic school. Yes. Ah. It is much easier than medical school. Now, I will need the help of someone from the audience. Let's see. Let's, uh, let's, this time, let's get a guy. How about you right there, right in the middle? Yes, come on up here. Big round of applause. Yes. Come on up here. Stand right here next to the table. Hi, what's your name? Joseph, Joseph, here's what we're going to do. I'd like you to hold your left hand out on the table just like this, okay? This is right there, buddy. That's it. Now, Joseph, pull up your sleeves so they don't think we're doing anything funny with our sleeves, okay? That's it. Perfect. Now, Joseph, these are called incredible muff malls. The reason I call these incredible muff malls is because they do incredible things. Ooh. Now, watch this, Joseph. See, I have one that's kind of light and one that's a little darker. Which one do you like the most? The darker one? Okay, so I'm going to take the light one, place it in my hand. I want you to squeeze on that one tight, squeeze it, hold it right there. Now, Joseph, don't let go, okay? Even if you feel something jump in your hand, don't let go until I tell you to, all right? All right, now, 
On the count of three, we're going to make this noise. Everybody try that. Watch mine. Just a hold on to yours. Ready? Here goes. One, two, three. Joseph, mine went up at the ceiling, came down, hit the floor, went up, hit the ceiling again, and then Joseph, the most amazing thing happened, it landed right in your hand. Go ahead and open up your hand. Look at that place on the table, Joseph. Yes. Wow. All right, Joseph, squeeze on the two of those. Squeeze on the two of those tight. Keep them right there. Hold right there. Set. Take one step out front, okay? Now, everybody always asks me, Rodney, where do you find magic muff balls? You actually find them behind people's ears, like there's one, okay? Now, here's what we did. Now, Joseph, you have yours. Now, on the count of three, we're going to make this noise. Woo! Ready? Nobody take your eyes off mine. Ready? One, two, three. Did you feel that? Open. Maybe. Open up your hand. Oh, look at that. Yes. Give it a big round of applause. Hey guys, I brought uh, two friends with me today. Would you like to meet my friends? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna bring out my friends here, okay? I'm gonna get my first friend out, and I'm gonna place him right here. And then I'll get my second friend out, and I'm gonna place him right here. Are you ready to meet them? Yeah. Yes, all right, now, here is my first friend. His name is Benjamin, okay? Now, everybody say, hello, Benjamin. Hello, Benjamin. And then I have second friend here. His name is Nicholas. Everybody say, hello, Nicholas. Yeah, yeah. Now watch this. I'm going to take Nicholas's hat and I'm going to place it right over the top of Benjamin. Then I'm going to take Benjamin's hat and I'm going to place it over the top of Nicholas. On the count of three, I want everybody to say the magic words. Ready? One, two, three. And we'll do it again. Ready? One, two, three. You guys are not going to believe this, but now under Nicholas's hat is Nicholas, and under Benjamin's hat is Benjamin! Yeah! All right, we'll do it again. We'll place Benjamin's hat over top of Nicholas, and we'll place Nicholas's hat over top of Benjamin. Ready on the count of three. One, two, three. This, but now Benjamin is back under his hat and Nicholas is under his hat. Yay! Uh, what's that? Turn him around? Yeah! Like turn him around? Yeah! Okay, I'll turn him around. There you go. The other way? You want to turn the other way? Spin him around? Yeah. Spin him? Yeah. Okay, there you go. Oh. oh, you want to see the back? Yeah. You mean the back of him? Yeah. No, you don't want to do that. Yeah. No, 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 no. That's going to embarrass them. You don't want to embarrass them, do you? Yeah. They don't want to show you the back. Okay, I'm going to show you the back, but they're going to be really embarrassed. You see, this is Benjamin's girlfriend, Priscilla, and this is Nicholas's girlfriend, Lisa. Yeah. <laughs> and that's the end of that trip. But wait, I have another one. Now, everybody, every place I go, they always ask me this question. Rodney. Where did you learn your magic tricks? You guys ever think of that? Where do magicians learn their magic tricks? I gotta tell you where we learn them. You wanna know where we learn them? Almost all the tricks I'm going to do today, I read in a book. And guess where I found those tricks? In a library. I bet you right at this school, if you went down to the library today, and you looked, you'd find books on magic tricks. Would that be awesome? Yeah. Yes. 
In fact, every trick I'm going to do from this point forward, I found in the magic book. Okay? So if you guys want to find the secrets, where are you going to look? At the library. At the library. That's a great place to start. Now, here's what I'm going to need. I'm going to need the help of a few different people here. Let's see. Would you like to come up and help me? Yes. Do you want to come up and help? Maybe not. Okay, that's all right. Would you like to? You can. And you can too. Let's see. How many we have here? One, two, three, four, five. And I need one more so you can come up too. Give them all a big round of applause. Yes. You guys come over here. All right, wonderful. What is your name? Mackenzie, you stand right here, and you come down to the end of the line right down there. Fantastic, wonderful. Mackenzie, you stand right here. Okay, just a few steps over there. Wonderful. Mackenzie, how old are you? Five and a half. Fantastic. And what grade are you in? Kindergarten. Wonderful. Are you married, Mackenzie? No, I'm just being silly. All right, that's okay. We're just playing. All right. Yes. All right, what is your name? Grace? Grace, what grade are you in? Fantastic. Well, we'll have you up here. Grace, what's your name? Presley, in what grade are you in? Fourth. Fantastic. Glad to have you up here. And what's your name? Michaela. Michaela, what grade are you in? Third. Wonderful to have you. Michaela, and what's your name? Kate. Kate, what grade are you in? Fourth. Fantastic. Glad to have you up here, too, Kate. Now, here's what we're going to do, guys. I have an old magic bag here. <laughs> I have an old magic bag here. This magic bag belonged to my great-grandfather. Do you guys know what a family heirloom is? Yes, yeah, something that you got to get to keep someday, right? Belonged in your family. So this was one of my family heirlooms. You see, this bag belonged to my great-grandfather. My great-grandfather was a magician. My grandfather was a magician. My father was a magician. Now I'm a magician. This magic bag was handed down from my great-grandfather to my grandfather. My grandfather handed it down to my grandfather, who handed it down to my father, who sold it to me. Now, here's what I would like you to do. Inside this bag, there are four different okay. handkerchiefs. I'd like you to reach in there and grab one of those, okay? That's it. Fantastic. What color is that? Yellow. Yellow, that's right. And you reach in there and you grab one, okay? Whoop, it's down there. Fantastic. Green, yes. You reach in and you grab one. All right, oh, blue. And then you reach in and grab the last one, red. And then in the rest of the bag, we keep nothing, okay? Now, here's what we're gonna do. I want you guys to go ahead and place your handkerchiefs back inside that bag. Place them back inside there. That's fantastic, you put yours in there. You place yours in there, wonderful. All right, now, Michaela, here's what we're gonna do. We are gonna use, oh, sorry, sorry. We're gonna use a magic, you see it right there. We're gonna use a magic wand. You're gonna take that magic wand, you're gonna tap those one, two, three times, and boom! They're all gonna turn into one gigantic handkerchief. Would that be cool? Yeah. Yes! All right, so here's what you're gonna do. Now, I'm gonna give you a magic wand. Do not point this wand at anyone in the audience because I don't want you to turn anybody in the audience into a rabbit, all right? So, because this is a big magic wand. Now, you can take that, you can hold that bag, you can tap, hey! <laughs> Wait a minute, all right, let me see that right there. That's okay, that's okay, we'll place this right back up. Hey! Wait a minute, all right, so anyway, we're gonna take this one Oh no, wait, 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 wait. I think the magic ran out. Do you see any magic in there? No? Do you guys see any magic, any magic? No, no, hmm. You know, I don't have a wand left that will turn this, these silks into one big handkerchief, but I do have a wand left that will turn you into a rabbit. Hey! All right. Stand right over here. Okay, okay. You'll do it, all right. You stand right here, all right. Face the audience, all right. Now, before we do this trick, do you like carrots? Yes, all right, good, because you're going to love them in a minute. All right, ready? Here goes. All right, so on the count of three, we're going to say the magic words. Ready? One, two, three. Abracadabra, look back. Oh, we're just joking. Sit right back over here. Come back over here to the side table. Here's what we'll do. I've got another one. Now, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to give you one. You can tap this one, two, three times, and put 
all those handkerchiefs, be very careful of the edge of the stage. All those handkerchiefs are going to turn into one big handkerchief. So you take you take the wand, you can tap it one, two, three times, but it's going to turn into one big handkerchief, okay? So you grab that wand, one, two, three, it just goes like that, okay? So you reach out there, grab that, I'm just joking, I'm just joking. You take that wand and then you're going to take that little... Hey, that's not funny. All right, so you take the magic wand right there. And then that's not funny. Wait a minute. So you grab onto that, and then we're going to take this one. Wait a minute, wait a minute. So you take that wand right there. And then we're going to... All right, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Here's what we'll do. We'll wave them all over top. Ready to count through your August and the magic words. There you go. One, two, three. Let's see those ones. Let's see how you did. All right, here's what I want you to do. Reach in there, grab a handkerchief. Reach in there. Look at that. All those handkerchiefs are one big handkerchief. Yeah. Give them all a big round of applause. Yes. Have a seat back down there, guys. Another big round of applause for everyone on stage. And that's the end of that trip. But wait, I have another one. Now guys, remember earlier we talked about how most of the tricks I learn are from reading books? Yeah, that's a how-to book, right? But there's another type of book that I really like. I like fiction books. You guys like fiction books? Yes. Now, I know all my kids at home right now, they're reading The Diary of a Wimpy Kid. They seem to really like You guys like that book? Yeah. Now, but here's what I did. When I was growing up, I used to have a favorite book, and that favorite book was Peter Pan. And I remember when my daughter was about five years old, I read her the book of Peter Pan. And in the book of Peter Pan, they did the most amazing thing. Do you guys remember what they did? They knew, that's right. And did you know in the book of Peter Pan, they teach you how to fly? Yes. <laughs> now here's what I'm going to need. Has anybody ever seen the movie or read the book of Peter Pan in the audience? Ever done that? Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. Raise your hands if you would like to learn how to fly. Would you like to learn? What's your name? What is it? Fiona. Fiona, I'm so happy you're up here. What grade are you in, Fiona? Kindergarten, fantastic. Fiona, do you know you kind of look like Wendy from the book of Peter Pan? In the book of Peter Pan, when are Tinkerbell and Peter Pan go to Wendy and her brother's nursery and they teach them how to fly using two things, happy thoughts and pixie dust. Now, I don't have any pixie dust, but here's what I've learned in life, that you can do almost anything with a happy thought. Do you agree? So would you like to learn how to fly using a happy thought? Excellent. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to come over here. I'm just going to move this right here where I can see it. Now, you stand right here. Now, Fiona, on the count of three, I'm going to help you jump onto this board by holding your hands. You're going to land right in the middle of the board here, like you're sitting on a chair right on your pockets, okay? Ready? One, two, three, up. Boom. That's perfect, Fiona. Now, can you slip your shoes off real quick? Would that be okay? Yeah, we'll just place them right here on the floor, right in front of you. Okay, fantastic. Now, Fiona, here's what we're going to do. I'll have you lay on your back with your head right here and your feet down there. That's fantastic. Go ahead and lay back right there. I think you're perfect. Now, lift up your head for one second. There, okay. You can place it back down. You're fantastic, Fiona. Now, I'm going to just... Put your legs right like this. Now here's what I would like you to do. I would like you to take your hands and place them on your tummy. Like that. That's perfect. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cover you up like this. Okay? Are you okay? Comfortable so far? And then I'm going to cover you up one more time just like that. Now, here's what I would like you to do. I would like you to take and close your eyes. Close your eyes and think a happy thought. A really happy thought. Do you have that happy thought? Keep your eyes closed. Like you're getting lighter and lighter. Ooh. Now 
Okay, now keep your eyes closed. Think the happiest thought you can think of, but keep very still. Like you're thinking that happy thought, like you are getting lighter and lighter and lighter. Yes! Give her a big round of applause. is over 4,000 years old. In fact, this trick is so old that it's written about in the higher glyphics of Egypt. In fact, this trick is so old it's written about in the lower glyphics of Egypt. Now, I'll need the help of someone from the audience. Let's see. How about you way in the back with the pink and black jacket on? Yes, come on up here. Excellent, excellent. All right, another big round of applause here. Yes. Hi, what's your name? What is it? My Jess. My Stand right here. I love that name, My Jess. Am I saying that correctly? You know, that is the pronunciation for magician in some languages, too. All right, so here's what we're going to do. My job, we're going to do one of the oldest tricks in magic over 4,000 years ago. Yes, that means almost 2,000 years ago there was someone sitting in Egypt going, oh no, not the leaking rings again. All right, now, here's what I want everybody to do. Count with me. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven separate steel rings. Now, my turn. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take three rings off. Stand back here. All right. I'm going to take three rings off. You can see me take them off. One, two, three. Just like this. I'm going to take them, toss them in the air, and right in front of you, they're actually going to melt together. Ready? On the count of three. Here goes. One, two, three. Whoa. Look at that. Yeah. All right. My you check those rings out. Check those rings out. Look for any holes or gaps on them. You can pull on them, tug on them. See if you see any holes or gaps anywhere in those rings. Do you see any? There's actually one hole right here in the middle. <laughs> Sorry, my just Some of these jokes are over 4,000 years old. Now, you hold the ring right there. Hold the ring right there. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to feel the metal pass right through each other. Okay, It's going to get soft. It's going to feel funny. But it feels funny. But hold on to it. It feels like this. One, two, three. Just like that, yeah, all right. Now, we can actually take the rings and we can link them together in 16 different places like this. Or we can make shapes like Mickey Mouse, huh? Yeah, or we can have, whoops, just like this, we'll try that again. We can have a swing. Ooh. We can make a globe. Ah, uh -huh. We can also have a flower blooming. Ooh. Texas flower wilting. Ah. And each one of the rings will pass right through each other. Yes. All right. Now, mind you, here's what I would like to do. I would like to teach you how to do the Lincoln rings, okay? Now, the secret to the Lincoln rings is to believe that you can do this. Do you believe you can do this? I believe you can too, all right? Now, that's like the secret to life. If you believe you can do it, you can get through almost anything, right? So someday, if you're facing something really difficult, you're not sure if you can get through it, I want you to look back on this and remember, you were able to do this just through belief. So I'm gonna give you two rings. One, two. I want you to hold them like a steering wheel, one hand on each side, Regardless how you've seen it, the adults driving, okay? Just like that, perfect. Now, take one foot and place it out in front of the other. That's it, hold your hold them out, bend your elbows a little bit, tilt your head to the left and smile, yes! You know what that does? That makes you look like a magician. All right, now, here's what I want you to do. With all confidence that you can do this, I want you to make a left turn, left turn, left turn like this. Now, I want you to hold on to one ring and allow one ring to drop. Just like that. 
Look at that, yes! You did it, give her a big round of applause! Excellent job! Have a seat back down there, another big round of applause, yes! And that's the end of that trip! But wait, I have another one! Now, for this trick, I will need to help with someone from the audience. I don't think I've got anybody from the front row. Would you like to help out? And let's see. Let's get one more buddy. Would you like to help out? Yeah, come on up here. All right, come on up here, guys. Fantastic. Stand right there. Wonderful. Stand right there, buddy, right next to her on this side. Yes, ladies first. All right. What is your name? Macy. Macy, how old are you? Seven. Fantastic. Glad to have you up here. What grade are you in, Macy? Second. Wonderful. What's your name, buddy? Hunter. Hunter, what grade are you in? First. Fantastic. All right, Hunter. Macy, here's what we're going to do. We're going to take this trick apart. It comes apart in one, two, three different pieces. Check that out. See if there's anything hidden inside there. Lions, tigers, bears, cars, money, airplanes. Nothing? Nothing? I've been looking for the money. All right, now, I want everybody to check this out. Check it out, 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 check it out. Hunter, stick your hand right through the center there. Is there anything inside there? Nothing's in there. Now, do you notice how I placed the little window in this box? using these flowers. You see the flowers in there? Now the reason I did that is so when I put the red tube in, you can see the red tube. Can everybody see the red tube? Yeah. Yes. Now everybody check out the red tube. Check it out, 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 check it out. Macy, stick your hand right through the center there. Is there anything inside there? Nothing. Now here's what we're going to do on the count of three. We're all going to say the magic words. Are you ready? One, two, three. You hold on to that, Hunter. Make sure you hold on to that. And that's the end of the show. Yeah. Give them all a big round of applause. Have a seat back down there, guys. Yes. All right. One more big round of applause for those guys. Wait a minute. Before I go, would you like to see one more trick? Yes. You know. You guys are going to school, so when you grow up, you can become anything that you would like to become, right? Yeah, because in this room, I know we have future engineers, and we have doctors, and nurses, and we have policemen, and firemen, and moms, and dads, and teachers. We have all kinds of people, what you're going to become when you grow up. But you remember Walter at the beginning of the show? Yeah, Walter told me when he grows up, he wants to be something other than a bird. And I told him, Walter, when you're a bird, you're a bird, right? Yeah. He's not going to school, he can't ever become anything else other than a bird. But I thought maybe with a little help from his new friends here, we could help him out. Do you guys want to try to help him out? Yeah. yeah. So here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to bring Walter back out, okay? Now, before I bring him back out, I've got to tell you something about Walter. He's really, really shy around people, okay? Especially around girls. So. Oh, it's true. We're going to bring him out. I don't know why he's that way, but he is, okay? We're going to try to get him to stay on his perch here so he can come out and say hello to everybody. All right, we're going to bring him back out. All right, everybody say hello, Walter. There he is. See, he's turning around. He knows there's girls out here. <laughs> All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna we're gonna go ahead and put him back here. All right, you just stay right there. He's kind of trying to hide from you guys, okay? But here's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna cover him up for a second, and we are going to try the biggest trick of the show, okay? Yeah, because you guys are going to school. Can you become anything you want to be? Yes. Yeah. And you got great teachers to help you out, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to help Walter out today. Is it important that we help each other out? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So everybody loosen up your hands. Loosen up your hands like this, okay? Everybody point your fingers at the box. Point your fingers at the box. On the count of three, as loud as we can, we're going to say the magic words. One, two, three. How do you think you guys did? Should we take a look? Yeah. Let's take a look. See how you guys did? Look at that. Walter.
And unfortunately, that's the end of our show. So give yourself another round of applause, yes. And why don't you give Mr. Destin a big round of applause for bringing the show in today, yes. Boys and girls, let's give them a better round of applause.